Greetings folks, this video is all about my VTOL conversion of the Zod Altus. I'm using the Zod VTOL kit, been supplied by Banggood for the review. All the relevant links are in the description of course. So I'm using the Atom RC Navi Deluxe Flight Control Board. I won't show how I've set that up in this video. I'll do that in another video that will show the Flight Control Board and the uh, iNav setup. Um, that'll make this video too long if I include that. This will just be the overview of the kit and uh, showing what resources I needed to refer to to set it all up and the Maiden. In the VTOL kit let's see what we get. So we get three motors and ESCs. There's the two wing fa uh, front facing motors with the ESCs already soldered on. There's the tail motor with long ESC leads. There's another ESC for that one there. We get two tilt servos. They're substantial looking servos there. I guess they need to be pretty substantial to tilt the motors. There are the nacelles that the that go on the front of the wing and uh, the motor and the servos fit into that. Mount for the tail, there's the boom mount for the motor on the back. Uh, that'll be the mount for the servo, pivot mount for the servo and we get four props as well. So over on Banggood you can get the full power setup which includes all the motors or just the uh, mounting gear and servos for $89.63. I've got this one, the $190 one. So these are all the bits and pieces. I'll scroll down to the photos. They're all the bits and pieces laid out there. Assembled, there are some very good videos on YouTube about how to put it together and how to tune it up. So I'll be following them, of course. I'll put links to them in the description because I wouldn't be able to do it without their help. Right, so the first resource we need to look at is the Zod official build video. Uh, that is a very good assembly video, shows you exactly how to put it all together. Um, so just follow that step by step to assemble your VTOL kit. Once we've done that, uh, we can move on to the INAV VTOL docs page and just read through all of this uh, stuff about how to make the two different profiles how to make the transition mode, uh, and it gives you a good overall view of, of what the VTOL in INAV is all about. Uh, it's, it's kind of complicated, so these other videos that are, I'm uh, going to tell you about uh, make it a little bit better, easier to understand. First one is this one by MPS Aeris, uh, and I can't believe he's only got 74 subscribers, so subscribe to his channel, give him a boost, because he's done a really good job. So this video goes through all of the INAV setup nice and clearly. Uh, once you've assembled it, you can follow this and work out how to get everything tilting in the correct direction. Uh, this is how I did it anyway. Uh, and the final video is sort of fine-tuning the tilting of the tilt servo and the motors. This is by Desaro. This is a really thorough video about how to precisely set up these tilt uh, levels, which parameters you have to change to uh, get the tilting exactly correct and, and uh, uh, symmetrical and set up properly. But as I said, uh, I'll do my own flight control board setup and INAV setup video. Uh, but now it's time to go and have a look at the Maiden. It's maiden time for the Altus VTOL. This is very exciting, very scary. Well, I'm pretty sure I've got all the directions working the right way, but uh, we'll find out as soon as we get up in the air. Okay, we have satellites. Let's do it. Taking off in tricopter mode. Oh, that's working okay. You're around. Yep, 
Well, do I, do I be brave? Transition and wing mode. And we're going fine in angle. Very languid performance in, in angle. Well, that's very cool. Everything is working properly. I'm trying to look at the current here is about eight or nine amps. Got up to 30 amps, so that's a fair bit. Well, we better try and transition back to transition and VTOL mode again. Well, it's working. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Amazing. That actually worked. It does use a lot of current though. 37.5 amps it got up to. So that's cool. Uh, it kind of works. Uh, it does suck a lot of juice. Um, got to keep an eye on the battery. It is quite heavy, so it does wiggle a little bit when it goes into the transition mode or back into the um, VTOL mode, but it it works. That's cool. I need to see what it'll do in return to home mode when it's in the VTOL. Will it return to home? Forty-eight percent. We'll go a bit more. My batteries are pretty old and tired. Return to home. It's getting a bit wiggly. No, let's just calm it down. Doesn't like descending on the prop wash. Should try position hold. It's position hold. Maybe not. So I'm thinking you need uh, very fresh batteries, new batteries. Mine are fairly old and saggy. Um, but it yeah, certainly all works. I wonder if I uh, would improve it with a, uh, with a compass. Anyway, all good. So trying another battery uh, that was down to 11% already. Hello, is that Alan? Might be. Could be. Uh, anyway, I'll try my second battery. Uh, it won't last very long, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway.
I have to be a bit uh, more careful when you transition. Let's see how the battery's going and we'll try again. So my battery's already down to about 30% so I better leave that at that. Uh, but anyway, it works. Um, it's going to be much better if you spend a lot of time flying in wing mode of course, but uh, you can get it up and down in VTOL mode. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.